Miss Pro, Linda. Oh. Yeah. Okay, sweetie. Let me get you. Can you roll over on your back just a second? My water is now broken, and I can feel the baby turn. <laughs> and now I'm at a nine, and I'm being told that this baby is coming. Well, let's see. Okay. Hold on. I have my eyes closed trying to get through each contraction, the pain, breathe through it, and I know that the baby is eminent and it's extremely painful. You tell me when you feel no, like you need so to push. Bad. I know. That's because you're in transition, my dear. That's why. Okay? No, uh, uh, delivery. Aaron. That delivery. takes the edge off. Aaron. Right now, I'm thinking I might need some some help. I might need pain medication. I might need something. For this moment. <laughs> you told me to talk you down. Mm -hmm. You ever started to We're say stuff like that? Hey, Jessica, her water broke at 6.30. I just want to make sure you weren't crowning or anything. <laughs> uh, we're going to try to deliver this baby. we got to check you really, really quick. Okay? Make sure that lip is gone. And if it is, we'll start this pushing. <laughs> Okay, when well you're free to push. We're gonna do one big push to see how you do. Pull your legs up towards you. There you go. Good deep breath. There you go. One. Don't push Everything your legs. You got push your bottom. That's it, Aaron. Push it. Keep going. Keep going. I'm in so much pain and I'm freezing and I'm shaking and I just want this baby to come out. So you're strong. You can do this. Where's the pressure? I just, it just hurts. Okay, all over, back, stomach, where's it? Where are you feeling? It just hurts. Janae progressed rapidly with pitocin augmentation. We were surprised to find her contractions very strong. Relax, relax, relax. After my last dose of pitocin, the contractions got to a point where I just had to say, okay, that's enough. I need an epidural. I cannot do this. So. Miss Paul wants to go ahead and get her epidural. You know, just feels like her body's telling her she needs she, she needs some relief. Back. Yeah. Okay, so I'm shaking. <laughs> right, I want you to hug this pillow. I want you to rest your chin on it. Janae's gonna have epidural now, and uh, hopefully it controls the pain. The epidural was just really hard for Janae. Her boyfriend had to step out of the room because he was really nervous, and that's when, as a nurse, I had to step up and try to make her feel confident and that we were gonna get her feeling much better. Can you, like, hold me? I can. I can. I'm definitely It's gonna be okay. We're gonna yeah. give you a little Remy to help, okay? Great. All right. We're gonna tell you everything, okay, okay before we do it. Oh my God, this oh, You can do it. I want you to relax your shoulders. I can't, I can't do it. Since Kellen's gone, I've been relying a lot on my nurse to be there for me, and I've kind of taken her up as a mother figure, and just, I don't want her to leave the room from me for a second. Are you in any pain right now between your contractions? Mm, I just feel like I'm going to throw up from the pain. We're going to get you comfortable. Get through this. Deep breath, deep breathing. I hear Kellen saying that he might pass out, and I see, like, all the colors rushed out of his face. Oh, man. Is that burning? The ring of fire. It hurts so bad. 